Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just resume with our subject or our chapter three. We are we are studying what is called possessive adjective. And last video we have seen what is uh, we have seen um, ki noun, we have cch noun in singular and in plural. We have seen how prefix ma is put in as the preposition and how does the preposition change or how does the preposition is connected to possessive adjective. So and also today we are, as I've told you, this is the zone of today. This is the zone of the topic. This is the zone of the subject of today. But also all, only just here it is just as to remind you. Um, I'm just reminding you, remember last time we have seen about any now, in singular you can say mbao, it means a wood in singular. And the preposition of any noun in singular it is ya. You can say mbao ya, ya mninga, it means a wood of mninga. But also in plural you say mbao, I've told you that any noun doesn't change in form. Bao it is there, bao it is there, in singular and plural. The shape of the noun is not, is not, but it's not varying, it is the same, bao bao. But how will you know that the, the bao is in plural? You will know that the bao is in plural according to the process, uh, the preposition. Here it is in bao, yeah, it is one. But here in bao is, uh, it is more than one, it is in plural. So bao is a mninga, it means woods of mninga. But here in bao, yeah, mninga, it means one wood of mninga. So this is the, pre the preposition that we have seen, we've studied. Also, mbuzi, mbuzi it means a god, it is a creature. Mbungi, it is a, a member of parliament. Mbuzi and mbungi, it means a, an animal and a person. In Swahili grammar, the rule says both, both nouns share the same possessive, uh, share the same proposition or share the same uh, grammatical structure. So that's why we are saying we say we brought your written here mbuzi wa mbunge wa. But also we have seen some M plus consonant noun. What is M plus consonant noun? If you remember, it is M plus T. Mti, a tree. Mti wa. You put the preposition wa. It means a tree of. You can say mti wa babu. Uh, it means a mti wa babu. It means a tree of grandfather. Miti. More than one tree. It is in plural. Mti becomes miti. Miti ya trees of ya mzazi eh, means a parent mzazi wa wazazi wa it is also wa because every day wa it is the preposition to express an animal or a person that's why you have seen in mbuzi it is an animal we put wa mbuzi it is a somebody we put wa but also wazazi it is some more than somebody we say wa mzazi it is one in some it is somebody we put wa but also there is a you noun. In you noun, you can say uzuri, beauty, in Swahili. All nouns starting with you. There are many, there are many nouns starting with you. That's why they are called you noun. They say uzuri, it means beauty. And you put the preposition wa, uzuri wa. You can, for example, you can say uzuri wa mwanamke. The beauty of a woman, uzuri wa mwanamke. So the preposition of it is wa. Yeah. So, thanks to this preposition, we'll give you the access to make a possessive adjective just only by adding this. Normally, the prepositions are wu, ko, ke, o, etu, enu. These are the base. These are the base, the foundation, the base of uh, uh, the purpose uh, of the possessive adjective. This is the base. This is the body. So. Oh, this is the nature. I can try to explain just like that. So, to make possessive adjective in English, I've told you that possessive adjective is changing according to na to which noun it it is it is connected with. When a possessive adjective is connected with mb noun, we will follow these rules. When it is connected with m plus consonant noun like a multi, it it will follow these rules. Just something like that. This is the rule set. So here it is yangu, mbao yangu, it means my wood. You say mbao yangu, you take this mbao yangu, my wood, mbao yako, your, your wood. Some others say your wood. This is, this is the matter of, uh, it is the matter of pronunciation. Everybody has his own pronunciation. 
in Nigeria or in East Africa, they, they prefer say, uh, they say you are wood, they say you are, okay, as it's not a, it's not a case. Mbao uh, yake means her wood or his wood. In Swahili, we don't have his or, or her, we only say yake. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, a girl, a female, or a male, masculine or feminine. We only say yake. But also we say mbao yao. It means their wood. Their men, you say their wood. Okay. In mbao yao, their wood. If you say our wood, so from our wood, from this, these are only two exceptions. You clean, you clean this plastic later of the preposition, it becomes mbao yetu, mbao ye. And this rule of this, it is also done to za, it is also done to wa, you can also do it to wa, wa, ya, just like that. Okay, it is very simple. For example, say uzuri wa wa. Let's let's do this. After explaining about this, let's put uh, wa uzuri wa ngu. It means my beauty. Uzuri wa ko you are beauty or your beauty. Uzuri wa ke her beauty or his beauty. Uzuri wao, their beauty. Or you can say ukweli. Ukweli means truth. Ukweli wao, their truth. Ukweli wao, my truth. Ukweli wako, your truth. Ukweli wake, his truth or her truth. Something like that. But when you reach at our truth, you say ukweli we, you clean it. It means from ours. From our and your in plural, you clean the last letter. This last letter is clean when you reach to to our and your in plural. You clean. This is the rules of how to make a possessive adjective in soil. I think you have understood. If you don't understand this possessive adjective, it means also you didn't understand the the preposition of. And I'm very sorry for that. You have to cut. To, 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 to review the last chapter, uh, the, the recent chapter, which is preposition of, it, it is in chapter two, I think. Don't forget, you have to study the preposition of. I'm teaching you strategically. I want you to go slow by slow. I cannot give you something which was, which doesn't have the history behind. So our subject of today is possessive adjective, but it has the history behind the, the recent chapter. It has the history in the recent chapter, I mean chapter two. In every chapter is connected with the next one. So I'm not going randomly, but I'm going strategically to explain you and to achieve my, 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 my target. Because my target is to teach you in a very proper methodology which will enables you to understand exactly and easily what I'm teaching you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe at the YouTube channel, the Swahili Wings TV. Thank you.